Hey everybody, it's Derek Comartin from CodeOpinion.com, and I'm going to answer the question, is CQRS complicated? Short answer is no, it's simple. It's actually really, really simple. First, let's tackle the very core of what CQRS actually is. CQRS stands for Command Query Responsibility Segregation. It was coined by Greg Young. CQRS is related to CQS, Command Query Separation Principle, by Bertrand Meyer, which states, every method should either have a command that performs an action or a query that returns data to the caller, but not both. In other words, a command is a method that mutates state, and a query is a method that returns state. A method generally doesn't do both, but there are exceptions to this rule. To use as an example in C-sharp, here's a shipment class that has two methods. It applies CQS in that each method either performs an action or returns data. The delivery method mutates state, it's a command. Is delivered method is a query, it just returns data. To apply CQRS, we simply need to turn this into two classes. One class will be used for mutating state, and we'll call it the shipment command. The other class will be for returning state, and we'll call it the shipment query. So here what I have is our shipment command, and I've removed the is delivered. Now I'm going to create a, create a class called shipment query, and I'm just going to be moving that is delivered method there. My constructor is going to stay the same, and I'm going to add my is delivered method, and as well as the delivery property. So now here I have my two classes. One class is specifically for changing state, which is our shipment command, and one class is specifically for returning state, which is our shipment query. I suspect the reason for the misconceptions about CQRS being complex or difficult stem from people seeing a diagram like this. If you search Google Images, you're bound to find almost every image is a variation of this one. Now the thing is, is CQRS being applied in this diagram? Yes. Are other things being applied in this diagram? Yes. It's not just CQRS happening here. When you hear talks and read about CQRS, you're often hearing about a bunch of other patterns or technology, and they're trying to also be described in this diagram. To clarify, what I mean is CQRS does not require you to have a message broker or bus, use messaging, have a domain model or have domain events, be doing event sourcing, even having to concern yourself with eventual consistency. There's no need to have separate models for your reads and writes, and you do not need to be using domain-driven design. I often say that CQRS is an enabler. It enables or facilitates using other patterns that often fit well together, like the patterns I mentioned above. This is why you see CQRS and event sourcing applied together or mentioned together almost all the time. CQRS is not event sourcing though nor does it require you to use event sourcing. CQRS simply fits well and enables you to apply event sourcing. If you want to find out how to apply CQRS in .NET and C Sharp, you can check out my Fat Controller CQRS blog series, which is kind of a six part blog series um, that takes you through the simplest possible implementation where you're not using event sourcing, you're not using a message bus or anything that I mentioned before. I also have a almost hour long talk that I've given at a few different conferences called Fat Controller CQRS Diet. It pretty much covers everything that's in that blog post for the most part, um, just in kind of an hour long talk. So if you're interested in that, the link will also be in the description. Please subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks.